Hey, it's Joe Glass from the Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add an auto hockey script to auto launch every day, once a week, however often you want, using the built in Windows task scheduler. Uh, I'm going to do it in Windows 11, but it should be basically the same in every version of Windows forever. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Now, to launch task schedulers, come up to here, do your Windows button, hit start typing task, and now look, task scheduler. Great, I'm going to launch it. So, what I would recommend you doing before you actually create a new task is let's add a new folder. So, I can come over here, hit new folder, um, just a test. So this is going to be a folder where after I create it, now I can click here and I can add a new task here. So I'm going to create new task, give it a name, test. This is a wizard I'm going to walk through. How often you want it to go, daily, weekly, monthly, just one time. I don't know why you'd set this for one time. That'd be weird. Let's say I want to run daily. You can pick your time, uh, when to start it, what time of day, a.m., p.m., you know, it occurs every day, single days, every couple days, we'll say daily. Now the action, these are both deprecated, so I don't know why they can't figure out how to remove them, but I'm going to say start, a, now listen, this is start a program. This is important because right here, you would think you would get the path to your file. Let me get um, a path here. So this is the folder where I have AutoHotKey installed. And I have this simple task example here. You can see it's just the require, single source, force, then the message box, hello. So you would think you would get the path of that file and put it here. Unfortunately, that doesn't work on its own because even if you have AutoHotKey installed and AutoHotKey in your system path, the wizard, this task scheduler stuff, runs outside of your normal environment. So that's the big gotcha. That's why I wanted to make this video. So what you have to do is first, find the path to the auto hotkey where you have installed. I'm gonna paste this, because this will get me to the folder. As I said, that's where I have auto hotkey installed. I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the 64-bit version of auto hotkey, great. Now, this is where you add arguments. Also, you might wanna put some quotes around there so if you have spaces or anything, it's just a safe practice. So here, now I'm gonna put a quote, paste in the path to that script. If you wanted to have it start, have the um, active directory, the working directory, you could put a folder path here. So I'm gonna hit next. Um, and basically that's it. So I'm gonna hit finish. And now I can actually hit run. It will run that, that's that thing. But now it's set up to run it every day at whatever time, next run time, 7, 27 p.m. apparently seven minutes ago, or sorry, two minutes ago, geez. Um, but that would run every day at a certain time. So if you have certain things you want to have happen every day at a certain time or once a week or whatnot, you can use uh, the task scheduler, which is really flexible. It's a great tool. I highly recommend it. You can also, FYI, uh, if you have admin privileges, if you come to this folder, the first time you go to it, it's going to ask you, hey, you need to have admin privileges. But after you do, you can navigate to it. Oh, just to test, here's my folder. And in it, even though there's no extension, there's this. Now, if I drag that into, like, site, let me move over site here. Um, you can see what it actually did. I don't necessarily recommend you edit it here, but you can see what's going on. And it might take, like, a reboot for if you do make changes. Let me, let me make this so you can see it better. There we go. Um, I was playing with it a little bit, and the changes, even though as long as you have admin privileges, you should be able to save this. Uh, but the task scheduler, it may not take effect like until the next run time. I was clicking the run button from within there after I made a change here and it didn't absorb it. So it's kind of like it has to go back and reread it. Uh, but that's basically it, right? So um, it's a very interesting that you can navigate to this folder to see what's in there. But again, if you have them in your own folders, it's very handy. So if you learned something here, uh, please like the video. It really helps me out. Um, this is one of the things we just covered in the hero call yesterday or this morning, which is why I thought I'll just make a separate video for you guys to, to take a quick look at it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers.